Welcome back, everybody. Um, we're, ho we're hoping that the malaise after lunch has, has diminished, that the effect of all that caffeine that everyone's consumed in the coffee break is coming through, and we're going to have, have a good discussion. Uh, our next session deals with uh, water, water pollution, and biofuels. And we've got two very contrasting, or two speakers very, with very contrasting perspectives to draw us through discussion. So I think we've got one presentation that will uh, focus more on quantity issues and another that's going to steer us much more through quality related concerns. Now I have to tell you that you will have worked out from the accent that things to do with the, the US are somewhat foreign to me. Um, and these two individuals have explained to me that they've both got the word Iowa and university <laughs> in their affiliations. But if I get them in the wrong order, I'm in really deep trouble. <laughs> I rely on the audience to help me if, if I get into deep water. Our first day speaker then for, the, for this session is Jerry Schnoor. Uh, Jerry's a, a professor in the university, now which one is it? University of Iowa. The University of Iowa. The lesser university the of Iowa. The flagship <laughs> university. <laughs> you see the trouble I can get in? <laughs> The University of Iowa, he's, he's a, a professor in engineering, he's also a chair in engineering. Uh, he co-founded the Center for Global and Regional Environmental Research back in 1990. He's, uh, he was recruited to head the Iowa Climate Change Advisory Council and he's very important for people like me because he's also the editor-in-chief of a very highly thought of journal Environmental Science, Science and Technology. Jerry, you're down to walk us through water implications of biofuel production in the United States. Welcome. <laughs> 